Hey guys, Blue Money Clarinet 3 here, and welcome to another episode of Attack at the B Team. Now, today, um, just want to update on a few items. Um, there's been an update on the Witchery Mod, which adds a couple of new mobs, which I'll show you. Um, one of them is the Poltergeist, along with the Spectre, and a Banshee. And so these are the three new mobs that have been added. And so, which is pretty cool. And so, I'm gonna morph into one of them so you can see what they look like. So, here is what the Banshee looks like. It's pretty cool. And then here's what uh, Spectre looks like. And pretty much invisible. And so, which is pretty cool. There's some pretty um, pranks um, with, with this mob. And then, last but not least, the Portuguese. And it pretty much looks like an Enderman, except in the ghost form, which looks pretty cool. And so, but anyways, just wanted to show you guys that. But um, also what I wanna show you is that I've added to the fish tank an extension and so now there's two fish tanks that are together which makes a lot more room for the fishes to swim and so which is pretty nice so also I and then some stuff here so that way we can have a continuous charge for when I use magic to teleport. And so, anyways, also what I want to show you, um, go out here. I have made, well, yeah, I have made a half automated farm which is pretty cool because I've been working on this for a while and so it's, I use these uh, item ducts instead of the um, these pipes because for some reason they wouldn't reach all the way to my tower and so which is a bummer but uh, it still works, and so, which I'm glad, as you can see, you can see some of the items being transported, and so, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, but um, this video's main obje objective is on Horcruxes, and we're going to be making some horcruxes today, and um, don't know why I'm getting lag, but um, my computer, for some reason, seems to be getting really low frame rates for this game, and so I have to have a um, tiny distance, which sucks. And so, but, um, I'm not sure what to do to bring it back up for normal. Um, so, it's gonna be not um, tiny for a little while. And so, anyways, um, to make a hard crux, which is a reference with Harry Potter, um, we need what are called Puppets. And let's see if I can 
find the witchery in that area. Um, let me show you what a pocket is. It's... Let's see. It's these guys right here. They're known as puppets. And what we're going to be working with today is Death Protection Puppet. And it's pretty much supposed to protect you from death. And I've already made four Horcruxes hard, hard today. And so we're going to continue working on it. And so it's got to the survival inventory because I already have some of the stuff that I've gotten ready and so I've already made four and so we're gonna do four more today if possible hopefully I don't have enough time to do all four but um got our pop puppet shelf ready and we just need to get the puppets and also a uh, location for for the um, hard cracks to hide them so yeah um, I'm gonna find a location off camera and so I'll see you guys in a bit okay so I found a pretty good spot to be working on the area for the Cracks. So, just gonna be digging down a little bit more. Get rid of that skeleton. Oh dear, lag. Okay, well, must be near an abandoned mine or something with all of these creeper creepers and skeletons. Get rid of that creeper real quick. But, um, uh, almost on me. But, uh, yeah, so this is going to be a spot for, um, uh, for pets. So let's just get some obsidian ready to make the wall. And so, as it's going to be a pretty um, a small area for the Horcrux but um, we're gonna do some put some nasty stuff over the top so that way no one can get to it easily and so and I've seen uh, Chantley Swift do this and so and it's, it's pretty nasty stuff that one he uses. And so, let me show you guys what it is. It's a sludge. And what the sludge does is that it gives you like a wither effect and um, nausea. And here, let me show you. So yeah, weakness, wither, and nausea. Which nausea does this crazy thing. Makes it all like dizzy and stuff. And so which is really nasty. <laughs> so let me just get um some of the the puppets so that we we have enough. Because we're going to need about nine to, to fill the whole, whole puppet shelf. And so, let me just look it up. There it is. So, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, good. And now uh, we're going to have to bind these with uh, the tag lock, the yeah, tag lock kit 
of my um ah come here step step gun I don't know why he keeps doing that. I don't know. But um Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna combine it using a crafting station and then with the tank lock. Yeah, I said it right. Okay. So excuse me. Anyways, let's get out this and we're gonna do this. And also this. And so I don't okay. Stupid thing. So get that. And now we're gonna combine tag lock kit with nine of these. So <coughs> excuse me. Place them in the puppet shelf, and like so. Shift click, and there we go. That's how you make our hot cocks. And so, this is my fifth hot cocks right now because I have two in my tower and two in other two places that I hidden um but um yeah so as you can see we're gonna have a total of eight and so yeah this is really exciting so but now um since we we're done with that we're gonna cover it up so that we no one can break it well, it, it's not hard to break it. All they need is either a hammer or a really good diamond pickaxe. But um, we're going to use this stuff um, to make it so that uh, people can't get to it very easily. <laughs> and so, because it's really nasty stuff. And so, I'm going to cover it like so. And they're probably going to wonder, what's this black stuff on top of that box? And so, we're going to gonna just um, cover this whole pit with that. And, oh dear, I got into it. But, um, anyways... That's how you make a heart crux. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.